What started as a small sinkhole has grown into a year-long nightmare. A suburban street blocked off and residents forced to find a new way out of town. They were told it would take six weeks to fix. 25 years and I've never seen such a big a bloody mess. Like what, what are we paying council rates for? At first it was six to eight weeks, then it was months, now it's months, months, months. It's the saddest first birthday party ever. Happy birthday! 12 months on from the great Leonie sinkhole opening, during that time it's gone from this to this and there's not much for locals to celebrate. It started as quite a small little sinkhole, didn't it? Absolutely, yeah, and then they, they dug it out, they made it bigger and bigger, and now it's a big ditch. At Leonay, near Penrith in Sydney's west, residents are fed up with their new dead-end street. Are they in charge of the roads, the well, council? Well, the, the point is, we pay our rates to the council, hey. they should be controlling everything else that goes on. Penrith City Council was quick to block off the road after the sinkhole opened, but locals say work has been slow going ever since. Kelly Rosetto lives on the other side of the ditch. It's 12 months, we can't exit the street we would normally go. Incredible amounts of traffic up a very narrow street with quite a high crest. It, it's a real concern. Steve Percival says residents have been complaining about the go slow for months now but just get lame excuses, with Council and Sydney Water blaming each other for the delays. We've heard uh, varying stories. One is that they couldn't get the piping, and in my question is, how are they building Sydney Airport? They must have pipes for that. There must be pipes around the country. If they can't um, get pipes from anywhere, uh, concrete a big tunnel in there, or make a bridge. <laughs> There was a burst water main unrelated to the job, so there's going to be a further delay. And the latest is an ongoing demarcation dispute, apparently, with Sydney Water. Due to the road block, there's now only one main way in and out of the suburb, with residents on the other side of the block forced to travel kilometres extra to get in and out. What do you think of the delay? Horrendous. Appalling. Right now it is a perfectly sunny day and yet there are no workers here in sight. In fact, the residents here say they haven't seen any workers in weeks. But the council is still insisting this project will be done by December. Penrith City Council sent residents letters to keep them up to date. In January this year, it blamed industry-wide supply constraints on a wait for the pipes required. In May, it said work was due to start and take 8 to 12 weeks. In July, Council blamed a Sydney water burst water main for further delays making the site unsafe, but said completion was due in September. Now it's tracking for December, but locals say they have zero faith in that. I've spoken to them before and I said, what are you going to do? And they said, we don't know. We just want it fixed, we just want it open. Josephine Braw says locals are being treated as fools by council. Every time I see a council notice, I'm just pissed, to be honest. <laughs> now she says if it's not fixed soon, she'll be taking things further. Fix it now. Do it. And council and Sydney Water are still playing the blame game. And more bad news for those residents. Council now says it won't be fixed until at least February. So who knows when it'll really be.